Today, I'm going to walk you through how to utilize Macandia in finding your human and animal interaction articles that I have uh, saved for you guys. First thing, I need you to go to macandvia.com. You can see how to spell it on the screen right now. We are not going to be using Clever for this. I know that in elementary school, you use Clever to get onto Macandvia. That is not possible in middle school. So once you get um, up here, we actually just go straight to the website. Now, the first uh, thing you're going to have to fill out is the school. Now, you don't have to put in the whole thing. I just type in Trent Middle, and then it will populate just our school. If you try to just type in Trent, you actually get more options than this, but this makes it the easiest. Easiest. Now it's going to kind of um, blink out for a second and then it'll come back up because now it's populated just our school. Your user ID is your ID number or your lunch number. Now for us teachers, we actually have to put the front of our email, but for you, it is your ID number. And then your password is the same password you use to get on to your computer. So let's go ahead and get logged in. Now the first thing, when it pops up, it always pops up focused on databases, as you guys can see here. Now, I've already pulled stuff for you. Um, I'm going to be working with you guys in the next couple of weeks on how to use the databases because they are different than the ones you used in elementary school. So what I've done is I've actually pulled everything and grouped it together for you. So we're actually going to go to this red button that says groups. And when you click on that, you're going to notice there's three options. And it's an obvious which one is your option, sixth grade ILA, human and animal interactions. So let's go ahead and click on that. And then I, in order to keep all the articles together for the different animals, I've actually labeled them with a hashtag. So like hashtag bears, um, and I'm actually going to tile this just because it makes it easier for y'all to see. We've got all the um, bear options. We have bird options. And then if you notice, we move into the cats. If you load more, you'll see that we've also got the dogs, the dolphins, the elephants, horses. And then we have the owls at the very bottom. Now, I'm just going to use bears as my example. So these are the um, articles that I have pulled for you for bears. And what you can do is you can actually go to open now. Most of these articles are from a very specific database, and that is the SERS Discover website, um, database. It will take you directly to the article. Make sure and accept those cookies. It'll take you directly to the article in order for you to read it. Now, one of the great things about the article is you actually can also listen to it um, as you go. Then, if you use a website to um, for your project, you will also need to cite it. Now, the great thing about our databases is our databases cite the work for you. So if we come over here to where it says use this document, you can actually click on cite. And what it does, a citation is a formal way to tell your teachers where you got the information from. It'll pull things like an uh, author, the title, the day it was written, where it came from, things like that. And it puts it in a really specific format. You'll notice that it's like the author's last name, comma, first name with a period. And then it's got the um, title of the article in quotation marks with a period before the last quotation marks. It's like so specific. Okay, so all you have to do is click the copy button and put this where your teachers want it and it'll be perfect for you guys. Now, one of the, um, the things, uh, once you get are done with this article, you can exit out and then you can move on to the next one and it will pull it up in another tab for you so you can keep that Mac and Via article up. And these are the articles we'd like you to use for your project about your um, animal and human interactions. If you have any questions, feel free to come talk to your teacher or come talk to me in the library.